It's not about how good of a singer you are, it's about your performance. And I can perform. You read my mind. Okay? Yeah. I drove for miles and miles and wound up at your door. And she will be loved. And she will be loved. And she will be loved. I've had you so many times, but somehow I want more. Woo! You're not better than me. <laughs> and my mama swore that she would. Never let her self forget. Got a tight grip on reality, but I can let go of what's in front of me here. I know I'm leaving in the morning when you wake up. Oh! <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Maybe I Stop! know somewhere you. The only exception, and I'm on my way to believing. My mom told me I could win American Idol. I just want you to remember that. That's yeah, okay. your mom's on drugs. <laughs>4 Episode 4 man I feel good about it I feel good. pretty good I feel pretty good about it Good Should I say it one more time I feel pretty good Sheriff Harold Potter got What's on the fucking agenda We have agendas now Mhm mm Uh Let me get in here The more. first thing we're going to do is a fan's question Now we do appreciate that All four of you who responded thank you very much the question we chose to answer was, are there more eyes or legs on Earth? Show your work. My first initial reaction was, there are, everyone that has eyes has legs, except amputees. <laughs> because even the blind have eyes. Okay. Yeah, but it's not just people. I'm not done. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> then I was like, what? Has eyes and no legs, fish. But also, millipedes exist. Milla eyes but they don't have exist. Eyes. Oh, so you're thinking the ratio. Is there more fish, though, in the world than Why millipedes? Why are you so caught up on fish? Because they have no legs. What else has eyes and no legs? But what else has a thousand legs? Did they really count them, though? Millipede and centipede. So Milla has a thousand, thousand, something like that. Okay, well, that's what I'm saying. If there's not a lot of millipedes and there's fucking millions of fish, then there's more eyes. Yeah, but how many fish think to about millipede the... ratios? We don't know how many I, millipedes are just out there. Think, just use your brain, Kels. Use your brain. Yeah, but think of all the one-eyed cats you see on those adoption no! pages. No! The eyeball's still in there. It's probably just shut. No. Some... Oh, so? No, I think mm -hmm. they're gone. I think it's legs, dog. You think I, it's a... I think it's eyes. Because, seriously, name something that has less has, has eyes and no legs. What else? Fish? Yeah, but octopus have eight legs. Spiders. Are those considered legs? Yes. Maybe not octopus, but definitely spiders. Oh, yeah, spiders, yeah. Eight. Eight, but there's so much fish around. <laughs> there's so but many there's legs. Think about a spider so having babies. And there's a million of them. But think of the ocean with all the fish. All the fish and the fucking whales. And the dolphins and the sharks. But that's only two. I still win. I don't, I don't know how, but I won. I don't think so. Eyes. Okay, moving on. Next. I'm getting pretty mad at you. I'm getting mad. 
I'm going to do research and follow up with this. Please do. Call me anytime. <sighs> Middle of the night. <laughs> All right. Do we have another question? That was From the, the fans? Just the next question them. was why. So tell me why. Why? Because I said so. That's why. That's it. That answers it. Moving okay. on. Okay. Do you have a crash an answer for why? Just because. There you go. Moving on. Quick. <laughs> Quick and easy. Quick and easy. So how much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Yeah. I'd say a thousand trees. In one go. Yeah? I don't fucking think so. Think about chopping one tree. Mm-hmm. But it's... What's like a basically, wood, what's a wood chop? I'd say a guy who chops wood. Think about okay. a guy chopping wood. How many trees could you do? Two, three, four. He's exhausted. At the brink I mean, of death. If there's a saying about him, he's probably really fast. I think it's just a tongue twister. But a tongue twister always comes from somewhere. She That's sells. It? She sells seashells on the seashore. I mean, there's always a lot of what probably happened on the beach. You know that saying? We have, to, we have to move on. Okay, I move can't on. listen to you anymore. Okay. <laughs> Random question genre. Really? We're doing this right now? Okay. When? We can do something else. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. I'm pulling your leg, dog. The two legs that you have. No, I've got a better one because you're oh, perfect. <laughs> Pick one. If. You had to describe your current life as a movie. Which movie would you choose? Euphoria. It's not a movie. Um, uh, a movie? Fuck, I don't watch movies, dog. Um, do you have one before I start thinking? Hmm. Oh, Coach Carter. Explain. Well, it's not my life now, but my best time, my best life... Was running suicides on the fucking court with my teammates working together. That was the doing best suicides for each other and working that shit down. Yeah, I was always the last one, and we had to keep doing suicides because I kept being last. But they fucking kept with it. They respected me. It's because you could drain a three. <laughs> That's the only reason why. You're like this bitch is fucking slow, but she can shoot. I can fucking shoot that three. Fuck. I remember when one summer I gained so much weight from being an alcoholic at 14 that I had we had to hit a beep test, like a 6 on the beep test, and I only made it to 5.5. And if you didn't make it to a 6, you were off the team, but I kind of was a 3-point specialist, so they didn't <laughs> kick me off! Shit, that's, honey, when, <laughs> that's when I got my nickname, Fatty Got Skills. <laughs> didn't get kicked off the team, I just had to do stairs and as my punishment, and then I just was back on the team. Isn't that hilarious? My gym teacher coach slash coach was like, you are not making the team. And I was like, man, my gym shorts don't even fit right now. There's no way I'm getting a six. I got a 5.5. Lost a lung. That's and fucking still, hysterical. And still made it. Anyways, so yeah. So that's why I say Coach Carter because that's just, that's just what it is. But I don't know what the reason for this was, but something similar, like if you couldn't do something physical... Um, when my dad used to play hockey, if you couldn't get there, you'd have to stay extra after practice and do stairs at the oh. rink in your hockey gear. You take oh. your skates off and then you run stairs and it was called the pork chop club. Oh my God. That's so fat phobic. That's hilarious. <laughs> that in general is fat phobic, but oh. the, like doing that to a kid. Well, there's some skinny bitches that are out of shape too, but like. That's true. I did a fucking mud yeah. run with like seven skinny girls and yeah. I was so mad when I was faster than them. I was like, this ain't right. I know, I know. I've been there like after like a, like a holiday where I would train because I was always the last one. We'd come back from holiday and I was beating everyone and it felt so good. It was like for a week until they got back into shape yeah. and I was like last again and I'm like, fuck! <laughs> what, did they, what did they call you? Fatty God Fatty God Skills. Can we keep that name? Yeah, so Fatty Got Skills. I was going to use that. That's a stage name, dog. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, yeah, I was going <laughs> to use that. Yeah, that was one of my things because it was so funny. Like, I remember, I remember a coach. Who you that first? Um, was it my coach? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> it was either a coach or a teammate. But it was hilarious because I remember 
when it like I remember this fucking moment where the other coach so as a coach you want to take advantage of the weakest link on the team so when there's a mismatch you know what I mean like let's yes. say you're faster than someone or you're bigger than someone like that's a mismatch so let's yeah. take advantage of that so we can score and win so to him because I was fat, I was the mismatch. I was the weakest link, okay? So it was crazy. Like, I remember this moment like it was yesterday. It was right in front of the opposing uh, bench. And the coach is yelling at this girl that, that I'm guarding. She, he's like, take her one-on-one. -on -one. Like, I so take her. Like, wants to fucking humiliate me, okay? <laughs> And I was like, damn, man, this is really happening right now. So she tries to cross me over, and I'm slow, but I got quick hands, motherfucker. So she tried to yeah. cross me over, and I fucking, like, I fucking went for it. And then I stole the ball, and then I headmanned it and for, like, a fast break layup. Amazing. And he didn't do it. He didn't <laughs> fucking come at me after that. And I was like, fatty got skills, motherfucker! I was like... Such a moment in the game. Good game. Good game. Go fuck yourself. Good game. <laughs> we beat them too, which felt really good. I got so many fucking stories like that too. Yeah. I was like, I'm fat, but I got skills, baby, that you don't even know about. Even now, though, like when I play sports, I'm like bigger than a lot of the girls, yeah. and they're just like, oh, I'm not gonna guard right? well, or I'm not, not gonna threat. try. And I'm like, oh, these legs motor. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I, like my, I'm like kind of top heavy and like my arms go faster than my legs, but I can still. Oh, I going. fucking. I've never seen you play soccer, but if it's like you play basketball, I can believe it. That's fucking hilarious. Love yeah. that for us. Okay. So, what would be your book movie that you would choose? My movie would be. I don't watch movies either. I know. Let's just skip the question. When we think about it too long, let's yeah. just keep going. Because like it's your answer, though. Yeah. Thanks. No. Oh. Oh. That's <laughs> what is one. the funniest false thing you were able to convince others that's true? Um, this person's actually in the room, so enjoy. <sighs> I was on a bus one day going down uh, oh, like one of the major roads in Sudbury called Barry Down, and I texted my wife, girlfriend at the time, and I said, "Holy shit, there's a zebra on Barry Down. It escaped and it got to Sudbury." <laughs> and she dead ass believed me. I like I don't know what she said, but like she was so convinced. And then I was like, later on, obviously was like obviously there's no zebra that escaped in Sudbury and then another time I once told her that I had a grandson what? <laughs> okay what zebra I was like okay I could I'm gullible too but what grandson <laughs> she says that I, she says that I never convinced her of that but I remember I was texting her in Walmart I remember where I was when this bullshit was happening and she thought I had one until I said, just kidding. I don't. I don't even have a son or a daughter. <laughs> you, okay, like, I, I have so many questions. Like, wow. So did you eventually tell her you did not have one? She found out Okay. over she, time. She found out over time. She kept telling me to invite him to dinner and stuff, and I just kept putting it off. <laughs> this is not real. <laughs> You guys are making this up. <laughs> no, sh that part's not true, but okay. she did briefly think I had a grandson. That I'm pretty is sure. so fucking funny. <laughs> that is so funny. But, oh man, you know how good I, I am. Should I, okay, I just so. put her down. Yeah. Should I give one that she convinced yes, me? Yes, absolutely. And I never get convinced of shit. Like, I'm not gullible, but she got me. Because I feel like this one's believable. Mm. But she told me that goats are uh, the horniest animals. <laughs> <laughs> in the world and that they're constantly wet and who am I not to believe like a that? like a female goat has a wet pussy <laughs> and I was like you're kidding that's crazy whoa and she was kidding but I thought I believed it for like 24 hours she got me because that's believable no yeah I just literally thought like do goats fuck goat style like but what's goat style but that's what I mean like why are we taking the word doggy style it's not just dogs that fuck doggy style why do we use the dog 
Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like horses do it too. Like horsey style, know. goat style. Why was doggy style the one picked? I feel like because we're just around dogs a lot. I don't know. But that makes it weirder. Okay, anyways, moving on. So yeah. Okay, so yeah, the funniest thing, the false thing that I was able to convince someone was my poor friend Mel. Okay? She, I convinced her that I was colorblind <laughs> in grade nine and that she needed to tell me where the out of bounds line was. <laughs> Okay. That's just regular blind. That's not color. Exactly, because it, you can still see the out of bounds line. It's thick like that on a basketball court. That I I wouldn't need assistance. So, anyways, she didn't like ask me like questions, but she totally fucking believed me and be like, "Shant, that's where the out of bounds line is." And I was like, "Wow, she's so dumb." Like, like, why did she keep? Because I had forgot I had told her too. I was like, "Okay, now whatever." Okay. <laughs> You're like, I get it. It's, and then, it's right there. Yeah, yeah. She's <laughs> like, yeah, because I just told you. <laughs> and then you would try to, like, tell her that you got it, but she's like, yes, exactly. Good job. <laughs> it was bad. And then in grade 12, uh, so this lasted for four years. We played four years of basketball together. And then in grade 12, one of my buddies was just like, remember when you told Mel that you were colorblind? She goes, What? That wasn't real, and I, that's we, a long line. We pissed, years. we died. We fu- I, I said that story at her baby shower. I, I told it at her wedding. I was an MC at her wedding, and I just ripped her apart. Hilarious, Hilarious. yeah, that was amazing. So yeah, that's wow. mine. Okay, that's I liked it. Good. Yeah. Anyways, let's be done with that. Please. <laughs> um, let's move on. Let's let's move on to our segment. Please. Okay? Which one? Berserk! Our story for this week. <laughs> um, Blue Jays fans caught having sex during the game. Dot dot dot. Allegedly, with a picture of two people having sex at the game. So, did you actually watch the video? Um, no. Because when I, so now this picture, this image is blurred out, like on the genitals. But when you watch the video, his pants are on. Maybe his dick is out the pee hole. Though. Oh, we got a big dick. He looks like he's got long legs. Yeah. So, yeah, that is concerning. Berserk. Yeah. (laughs) Good one. That's berserk. (laughs) Pushes me off. (laughs) Okay, yeah, that... uh, I I don't think I could get there at a Blue Jays game. And also, it's televised everywhere. You know? I I just... Obviously, you have a sex problem, right? Should they maybe go to therapy? Perhaps. Because if you're gonna fuck in public, like, you kind of, like, go somewhere secluded. And even though maybe they're just really dumb. (laughs) They're really dumb and they thought no one's gonna see us. Or they're like, I don't give a fuck. I'm getting this fucking fuck on. Like, you can get, like, criminally charged. Yeah, for public indecency. The write-up said they decided to screw the game. And let's screw Good instead. One. Good one. Sorry, but nice TMZ. Boring as fuck. So this I'd, what? Baseball is like to me is not. Yeah, I'd rather have sex for sure. Hundred percent. The only thing I'd rather do at a baseball game than have sex is eat a foot long hot dog. <laughs> that is having sex. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Same. Yeah. Well. Listen, listen to this, dog. Yeah. Went to the Saddle Dome in Calgary for a hockey game one time, and you can buy a hollowed out, hollowed out baguette that oh, you no. squirt cheese and shit, and you put your toppings in. You put a massive hot dog in there. I, I 
bit into it, sprayed hot dog juice all over my vegetarian girlfriend. <laughs> so. That is a juicy fucking dog. It, it was, was probably delicious. really hot. Yeah. It was, it was so good. Oh my god, I love hot dogs. I know, they're disgustingly good. They're disgusting. Like, why are they so good? Like, I feel disgusting after eating one, but it's just so good in the moment. I know. Yeah, I'd rather, like, yeah, honestly. I know. I'm horny for a hot dog. Like, not even dick. Just a hot dog. Because a hot dog can't hurt your your feelings. Well, when it gives us diarrhea. It don't hurt my feelings, though. (laughs) When I get diarrhea, my feelings are hurt. <laughs> well, speaking of diarrhea, since you brought up my favorite topic, <clears throat> story time with Honey G. It's story time with Honey G. Woo! So I was at, I was bringing a person to the hospital, okay? <laughs> that sounds really weird, but I'm just not going to like out the person. Okay. So I was at the hospital I went to a hospital bathroom, okay? So a big fucking industrialized toilet. I walk in there. Why is it always steaming hot in these bath types of bathrooms? I don't understand. Because I'm slipping right off the fucking bowl, okay? Tell ya. So I go for a poo that ended up being a diarrhea. Now, I did a courtesy flush. You guys know that I'm into courtesy flushing. But as I courtesy flushed, the water rose. And I'm thinking, okay, it's just doing its swirl and then it's going to go back down. Nope, my butt's getting wet. It's With getting wet. Poopy diarrhea water. Mm-hmm. So I had to get up and I had to shimmy with my ankle with my pants down to my ankles down to the stall beside. There was only two stalls, so now I've destroyed both at this point. And then once I finished what I was doing in the proper clean stall, I got up and I went to go see what the damage was, like how much fucking diarrhea water there was everywhere. And I've never seen, I don't know if this was just this moment, but I've never seen a drain in a bathroom. There was a drain on the floor, so this fucking water was going down the drain. So, I mean, at least it wasn't flooding the fucking... Imagine you're trying to walk out into fucking diarrhea water. Ew. Honestly, I can't even laugh at this. It's, it was just disturbing. And did it smell so bad? I mean, I don't know. I'm it's funny how you do stench. some shit like that. Like, you'll shit it and clog a hospital industrial toilet yeah. with your diarrhea and then get mad at me when I had tacos for dinner and my house smells like tacos so <laughs> well you voluntarily made tacos so it does okay. not make a difference okay. and obviously the toilet was already clogged like you can't clog a toilet with loose stool like it just doesn't there wasn't you know what i mean like i guess anyways so that i wanted to share with everyone because it was mortifying and if you guys have a dirty diarrhea poopy story we would act i would love to hear it i would honestly i it would make my day if you guys would fucking she needs to feel like a human again i need to feel like i'm not alone really it's true so we we all shit so we must got stories all right i'm feeling a little more confident lately and i'll tell you why okay are you right phone my dad I got a request from a sugar daddy. Okay? This is the first I hear this, and I actually cannot wait. Did I screenshot it? Yes. <clears throat> hey, princess. Heart. Can I read it? Yeah. Hey, princess. I'm Andrew Thompson, by name. Well, are you really interested to be one of my trustworthy sugar baby? Question mark. And am gonna pay you a week by week remittances of five thousand dollars and help you financially i just need someone i can always talk to share my thoughts trustworthy and sincere am not after sex or your nude pictures i want to take good care of you and want you to be one of my trustworthy sugar baby that's all you got to do as my sugar baby and I want nothing in return. Let me know your response if you're interested. XX kissy face. So what should I say back? Yes. Right? 
Why is he so after trustworthy? Because I've got this on- scenario. I've got honest eyes. I've been told. Like specifically trustworthy. I'm trustworthy just, of what? I'm just pissed he doesn't want to fuck. Yeah, that's rude. <laughs> yeah, that's You're like, so... I may as well get something out of this. Like, I was just ready to go to Pound Town, and he just doesn't... He doesn't <laughs> I even, had a one-way ticket. He doesn't even want my body. He wants my fucking soul. That's worse. <laughs> <laughs> that's so much work. C- talking to someone constantly, I'd rather just fucking get out of there. Give me my money. That's called being a hooker. And yeah. you could do it. Yeah, but I don't want to, well, with him discreetly, like, no, no I don't want to work on the street right. and stuff. Right, yeah. you're not a Kathleen girl. No, I scream, uh, <clears throat> I scream, I was going to say Barry down, but that's not funny. <laughs> <laughs> Little. That's kind of funny. I mean, uh, are you going to answer? Did you answer or have you? I haven't answered. I was waiting to you talk to you. You his profile out? No, he's got no picture. Let's and, check. You know, like, I thought I was finding my Prince Charming, and it just doesn't look good. Oh, I might have deleted it. Yeah. What the fuck? Sorry, I can't go on with the bit anymore, because I actually deleted it. I know. I know. What a shame. But you know what? It's not going to be the only one. There's going to be way more. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. Once they see this body... They're just going to want to stuff their face in I was going to say, and your mind, but you don't care about them wanting your mind. So My mind's too precious. Man, you can't be giving that shit away. You can't give that shit away. There's no price tag on that shit on your soul. All right. <clears throat> we, we've got some upcoming show times. Hit them up, Kels. Let them know what's up. September 10th? September 9th. September 9th. Yeah. Little Montreal, Sudbury, Ontario. We're going to try some new shit. Nine o'clock. Nine o'clock. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to write some new shit. Anyways, come see us. Come see us. Come see your girls. We do karaoke. We stick around. I stuck around And you know how good we are at singing. We are really talented. So people love seeing me up there. I'll take my top off. Please. Okay, one titty. I'll start with one. I'll, I'll have both my boobs in my shirt at Little Montreal's. In your shirt? Yeah, I'm not taking them out. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, if you want to go to the bathroom, I'll flash you. <laughs> You're getting mixed signals from me, I think. <laughs> <laughs> no, if anyone I'm wants... I'm keeping my boobs in. Well, I'll show you mine. Yeah, like, she's a prude. Get sexual. Okay. I'll take a little peek. Get sexual. <laughs> <laughs>